All right, guys. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and now that we have everything textured and ready to go, Let's go ahead and export the texture so we can take it into Maya and do some render tests to see what everything looks like. Okay, so we did the suppressor before. Pretty basic uh, setup there. Nothing crazy. So we're just going to export all these textures for texturing. Uh, sorry, for rendering. Now, one thing that we need to pay attention to here is that the magazine and the silencer are not on UDIMs. They're on the zero to one tile so 1001 so we're not using udims um if i go into my here and bring up a uv editor you'll see that my my uh, suppressor is on the zero to one tile here and my magazine is as well so i didn't use udims for those i just used standard uh, standard texturing with just one tile so we're going to have to have two separate shaders Right with UDIMs, you can have one shader that'll cover multiple tiles. Here, we need two separate shaders because they're both sitting on the zero to one tile. All right, um, so let's go back into substance here. So, we need to export these textures separately. So, we can start with the mag here. So, file uh, export textures. Okay, so what we need to do here is actually we'll do we'll do them together but it's going to output two different sets of textures here so what we're going to do here is we're going to pick an output template and the one i use is ai standard um we don't need to use this udim legacy anymore with the upgraded version of substance uh even though you see i've selected ai standard there's still a udim tag on the end so this is the old way to do it if you are still using uh the older versions but now with the newer versions it's just basically one way to go and even if you're not using UDIMs, you can leave this on you, or you could just delete this. It doesn't really matter. It's going to put the UDIM tile address on there, um, which in this case would be zero, uh, 1001, 1001. doesn't matter that that's there. It is still going to work. If, if it bothers you that that's there, you can just delete everything inside these parentheses here. Uh, now, we don't have any, miss, any emissive, so I'm going to delete emissive. I'm going to delete height. I don't really use height map. I use a normal map. Um, I might keep it a, a height map if I'm going to do displacements. But in this case, I'm not going to. So there's no point. So I need these four right here. Base color, metalness, roughness, and normal. What I'm going to do here is also change this from metalness to metallic. And I'll show you why here when we get into Maya. So it's just something that's going to make setting up the shader a little bit faster. Uh, so I just change this to metallic, not metalness. Oh, and substance is saving, even though I didn't tell it to. Uh, so we have these four right here. So base color, metallic, roughness, normal. Okay. So once I've set this up, I can go back here to settings and I can pick this again from here as AI standard. Okay. And if you want to see how it's going to export, just click on list of exports and you will see uh, you will see how it does it. Notice it doesn't. It didn't actually put the uh, UDIM tile numbers on there because I'm not using UDIMs. So it knows, it's it's a lot smarter now, it knows not to do that. If I did have multiple UDIMs, it would put the uh, the address on the end. Now here I've got mag mag and mag silencer, that's, that's just part of the naming. So if I wanted to fix that, it's got the mesh and the texture set. So I can delete one of these, let's just take off mesh uh, so that it names them better. Okay, so now if I go back here, you see, uh, did it not update? I guess I have to reselect it. Not that. So I'm just going to click off of here and then click back on it and see if that, uh, yeah, there we go. So now it's updated. It says mag and silencer. Okay. Um, just something to, to pay attention to. So this this is how it's going to name all those. This is the size they're going to be at. 2K is probably going to be fine. Um, I would advise that you minimize the use of 4k textures um, with your models typically it's it's a better idea to use udims at 2k a piece than try to use uh udims at 4k uh things start to slow way down and definitely 8k maps are you know i don't, I don't know if there's really ever a use for that unless you're doing extreme close-ups with things um so where possible, use your, your UDIMs. In this case, I'm not using UDIMs, but I think at, at 2K, it'll be fine. 
uh, I could always come back in a substance and output it at 4K if I, if I needed to. So this is what we have here. I go with TIFF. I go with 8-bit. Um, and I leave this here. Basically, it's set according to what you set everything up for in substance. Um, and this is how for each of the texture sets it's going to show up. But you can you can change things here. You can set it set each one to different uh, size if you want. And the same for the size. So, so once you've got all this set up, you just have to hit the export button. Now, I've already done this. But hit the export and it's going to save everything out. So now that we have everything exported out of uh, Substance, we can go into Maya. And um, one thing that you want to make sure you have enabled is your Substance menu here, right? If you don't have that, make sure you go into Windows, Settings, Preferences, Plugin Manager. And then in there, just start typing in Substance and make sure all these are loaded. Okay, that just, uh, I think they come with Maya. I'm pretty sure that they do. Um, and it's going gonna, it's gonna to really help with the workflow, bringing stuff in from Substance. So make sure that's all set up. Uh, now, another thing to note is that in this case, I'm using Maya 2022. Again, since uh, we last worked on this, um, I was using version 2020. There was no version 2021, but they did finally output uh, 2022. Now, it's still pretty new. I don't know if it's if it's a version you want to you know commit to for a big project, but for this is going to be fine. It it does still have some bugs here and there. Um, usually you don't you know switch production to the new version until it's been out a while, so they can put the the, the fixes in and whatnot. But I'm going to use it because it is it does run a bit faster uh, than than 2020. It does load up quicker and it's just it's a little bit more efficiently uh, coded. So I'm going to use it here and hopefully we won't run into any any trouble so I just did a, a quick test render this is without textures okay so this is what we look like without our textures here for the silencer and the um, uh, the magazine so I'm going to show you how to set up the shaders okay so let's go into now let's go into hypershade there we go a little blue donut and I'm just going to make a new tab here so we have a blank slate here so we need to import those textures. Now, typically what you do, you, you could just drag the textures into the uh, Hypershade here and then create an Arnold shader, uh, AI standard surface, and then start plugging things in uh, to make your shader. So that, that's, that's fine. But I'm gonna show you why I like this substance menu here because it allows us to, to do that a lot faster and a lot more efficiently. So what we can do here is go into Substance Menu, go to Apply Workflow to Maps, and it gives you this little window here. So all those maps that we just outputted, Base Color, Normal, Roughness, Metallic, and notice how it says Metallic, not Metalness. This is why I changed it in Substance to be Metallic instead of Metalness. Um, because we, we're going to have this thing input these things automatically, and it, it knows what to look for. And if it finds Metalness, it's not going to plug this in. You're going to have to do it manually. So go to select multiple maps, and let's see here. Got to remember where my textures are. There is, where are we here? Source images. Uh, there we go. So I'm going to scroll down until, where did I put it? There we go. Now, these, these are still named the old way from when I did it before, so ignore that. So for the magazine. We have the mag base color metallic, normal, and roughness. I'm just holding on controlling and selecting them all. So I just selected all four of them and hit select. And notice that it plugs everything in for you. And again, if you hadn't if you had left this name at, at metalness, it wouldn't have found it, and you would have had to go in manually to plug it in. So now watch what I happen. Watch, watch what happens in the uh, hypershade. If I hit apply, notice that it automatically. Uh, plugs this into a shader for me okay notice that everything is hooked in you got a single place 2d 2d texture node which is really nice you got all the maps plugged in to a new shader okay so that happens automatically that's why i really like this it really speeds things up for you as you're working if you had udims right if you are working with udims and you have multiple tiles so you got you know if you got 12 tiles you're going to have 12 different uh, base colors 12 different etc etc that that works just fine you just pick the first one so 1001 and then you can come in here 
in each of these nodes and set it to Udemari and it'll find the rest for you. So it's a very uh, efficient workflow. Now, I don't remember if we went over this in the previous videos like months and months ago. So if I did, I apologize if this is repetitive, um, but here we go. So this is what we have here, our base color. Now it does put a multiply divide node in here you know i um, that's not something i'd probably use so if you want to if you want to bypass it you can just bypass it and get rid of this note just delete it um that works uh and then one thing i do here just to check and make sure that everything is set up correctly your base color should be srgb that's fine it is i'm going to turn on ignore cs file rules so i don't get that weird error down there and then normal like here here's this error right here that i get but if i turn this off turn this on then it's not going to give me that error anymore um so what do, and then you need to make sure that this is a normal map normal map should always be raw okay your roughness map should also always be raw again i'm going to turn this on and it should have alpha's luminance on okay um actually alpha's luminance is on here as well uh but I'm actually going to change out this note here in a second. I'll show you why here. So metallic, same thing. It should be raw and it should have alpha's luminance on because we're going out of the alpha. Okay, so I'm going to put this on the, the uh, so this is the magazine here. So I'm going to select my magazine and I'm going to right click and assign material to viewport selection. Let's move this out of the way. So now we should have our texture on there. And if you look real close, we do. Uh, I'm going to lock down my camera here so that we stay at the same view here so there we go we have our texture on there and then we can do the same for the suppressor so i'm just going to bring in a new tab here substance apply workflow to maps select multiple maps and again we want the silencer so again here base color metallic normal and roughness okay select it's all plugged in for you uh hit apply it's going to make a new shader node for you and everything should be set up but again i want to just go in and just ignore that's just something that i do i don't think it hurts anything if you don't do it and for this again i'm just going to run this straight through and delete this guy okay so now that we have that i'm going to select my suppressor here and assign material Okay, so this one you can see the texturing. This one you 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 can't, uh, and you can see the rifle is textured, but you can't see it in the viewport. So that one is because we're using UDIMS, um, so it's not going to show up in the viewport. Not a big deal. So let's go into our render window here, and let's do a render. Now I'm running. Let me see what my render settings are. I'm running the CPU, so it's a CPU here. I'm not running the GPU because, frankly, I don't get as nice results with the GPU than I do with the um, with the CPU, which is disappointing because I do have a dual 2080 Ti's in here. One thing to note, of course, is that Arnold does not uh, use multiple video cards, which, again, is just a downside. Um, I do have uh, Octane, uh, which I which I prefer. It's much faster, and it will use as many graphics cards as you have in there. Um, and then you're also limited by the amount of RAM on the card. So if you have really big scenes, you're probably not going to be able to use a GPU renderer just because you're limited to whatever the RAM is on, on one card. So I have two cards that have, um, I think it's 11, yeah, it's 11 gigs of RAM, but your scene has to fit in 11 gigs. So it's not like you you have 22 gigs. So even if you're using something that will, will use the gp the uh the cuda cores from both uh cards so it, it is limited by the amount of ram okay so my my render settings here my render settings here are in the camera a i have three and then everything else is at the default two uh these are test renders you can see there's a little bit of noise right there uh, and that's fine i'm not trying to get super crisp images here you can also uh throw on a, a denoiser if you want um but in this case it doesn't really give me that much extra anything anyway so we're going to leave it here and call that good okay so let's run a render here usually they take maybe five six seconds eight seconds something like that uh and there we go we can see now we have texture detail there okay on the suppressor so that's working 
Uh, I'm going to save this image here so we can compare the two. You can see what it is before and after. So we have a nice texture going on there. Um, I'm going to go ahead and zoom in. I'm going to unlock my viewport here. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in. Let's get out of... There we go. I'm going to zoom in on my magazine here. Now, by the way, if you want to use the render window as a viewport, just make sure this is turned on, which is the 3D manipulation. If, if that icon is not there, then you can come into toolbar icons and you can t uh, show 3D manipulation icon. You can also turn it on right here. So what you'll notice in our magazine is that our details backwards, meaning that these lines that are supposed to be popping out are going in and these squares that are supposed to be going in are popping out. So our normals are kind of reversed there. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna stop the render. I'm going to go back into uh, the magazine shader in the, in the hyper shade here. And I don't know why it is, but uh, this seems to happen with the Maya's Bump 2D node. So what I'm gonna do is just hit tab and start typing in AI normal map. Just pick it from the list. And what I'm gonna do, instead of going out of out alpha, I'm gonna go from out color to input and then out value to normal camera. So it's gonna delete that. So I'm using the Arnold specific normal map node. So let's, uh, let's save this image here and then run another one. And notice immediately now things are the way that they're supposed to be. Okay, so these are not going in. I'm not really sure why that's a thing. I, honestly, I don't think it ever happened before today. Maybe it's a Maya uh, 2022 thing. So if you if you look at the two, there we go. That now looks correct. Okay, so um, just a couple of things that you just, uh, you know, got to pay attention to. So basically now we have a completed textured rifle. You know, you could always do more. Um but we're going to call this one done and move on to the next project from here. All right, so guys, if you have any, if you have any questions or whatever, please feel free to leave them down in the comment. If you haven't already, please, uh, you know, like, comment, and subscribe. We appreciate any support that you can give us. I'm trying to grow the channel, of course. Um, and, you know, i got some other projects coming up here pretty quick, so... We'll keep uh, doing the texturing thing. We'll do some modeling projects. Um, probably going to get into some Blender stuff uh, and work from there. All right. So, uh, again, uh, like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching. And I hope you enjoyed this one. Sorry the last couple videos here took so long to get done. Um, but now it's all done and we are good to go. All right. Have a good one, guys. Bye.